So you can't get your tilt steering to work. Well, this one works, but I want to adjust it a little. This is Alan's tractor. And in order to get things close. Now, but the peg needs to come up a little bit for that hole so I don't get that wiggle. And it's not too tough, especially with things out of the way. On the, on the 16s and 15s, there's a bolt that is now out back in, in there somewhere. And I'm using this end wrench just to hold it up because there's a spring in there. But bolt is out. So I'm gonna pull this out and watch everything go sprung. And then it comes down. So does the pedal. And will it come down enough? Will it, can I disengage it? Do I need a pair of pliers? Let me get my needle nose. There, I think I got her unhooked. And turn. I took out all the bolts on this and um, that'll let me rock it a little bit. I took this cotter pin out. Let me slide the, uh, the uh, pedal over just a little bit. And from the brazing, I would say this came loose at some point and someone got tired of well, they didn't want that to happen again because this should be just a nut that jams against this and then you can thread it in and out and adjust it of course if it's seized in there you're probably going to want to uh, take this piece out and heat it up to get it out or drive it out which might have to require uh, taking out hoses and uh, oh shoot things or and some of them you might be able to take the dash loose. So you can't get back too far because of the throttle shaft, so that probably ain't going to work either. Or you can take the hoses off and just heat and hope for the best. Try to get that loosened up to where you can pull it out. Most of you are going to have the Saginaw unit, which covers up more space in here. and going to make it harder to work. But that's, that's what goes on is... Uh, that thing gets rusted in there. I'm gonna put some anti-seize on it when I pull, go back together, but that's what it should look like. When it gets rusted in there, usually what happens is a uh, guy push on the pedal and well, foot's pretty strong and it just straightens this hook right out and, and then uh, the pedal stays down and steering can't tilt anymore. Yeah, someone, uh, someone braze that right up, bless their hearts. Well, they might have brazed the jam nut, but they didn't mess up the plunger. All I want to do is move it out a little bit so it engages this a little better on that bottom stop. So I think I'll just put a, another nut in there and jam it. And that should move it out about the thickness I need. Put some uh, never seize, anti seize, seven seize. And I don't want to forget to put the plate back on. And now let's see if I can weasel it back up in there. This would probably this would probably be easier with that one hose out of the way. Then I got oil. Maybe I can finagle this uh, plate back up in there afterwards. Just turning that to where it's in a more convenient spot to put that plate back on, maybe. Maybe not. Well, 
after many finaglings, I took it back out, put the plate on it, and wiggled some more, and finally found the sweet spot. I was able to get it in. Now to get the... I think it'd be to my advantage to get the pedal hooked back up before I put the plate back on. So all I gotta do is work a small miracle in the dark. We're all used to that. Okay, that's hooked. After a few choice words and a donation to the swear jar, I got that bolt started back there. You can kind of see where it is there. Boo. So, let's see if I can't get that baby to tighten up. There we go. It's got that much more stable. It's got anti-seize on it, so it ain't so likely to seize. Looks like I got enough hook, crook. Had to bend the rod back a little bit. I must have tweaked it some pulling it out, but I think I got her good. Don't need that coming apart. Let's go look at the 1850 in the boneyard. I think that may or may not have the pedal in it. Well, this pedal is gone. I must have taken it out for something else. But you'll have two bolt holes here. Holds on a U-shaped steel bracket that the pedal sits in and pivots in. And it has a rod that goes up and your pin goes into the main casting for the dash assembly here. So could be a little tougher to work on. Easier to get the pedal out. Um, there's the bolts easier to get to because it faces forward then the metal is bent at a almost 90 degree to come back here and hold the spring in. So you take that bolt off, take the clip off. Then you can uh, if you unbolt the other two, you can pretty much pull it out unless it's seized up in here. Then your best bet is probably to pull the steering motor and put some heat to it and start banging. Or just uh, try to get in there with some penetrating oil and keep lubricating it and hopefully eventually it'll work out. And then the rod is just a quarter inch, basically a bolt with no head on it. You can take the, a quarter inch bolt with the right length, cut the head off and bend it in with a uh, eye on the end or a hook on the end or you could take an eye bolt and open it up a little that's a quarter inch and then use it to replace your bent one if it got seized and your pedal is stuck down because that's what's going on so hopefully that helps solve the problem of the stuck tilt pedal it can be some work i won't lie but it's also nice to have it working so this kind of, if nothing else, gives you an idea of what you're in for if you're going to attempt it. Give you a lay of the land. Normally there's, you know, steer power string lines come down through this opening here and are in here. So it's a little tougher uh, to get to with all that stuff in there. I think I took this one off and put it on Herman. I think his was sticking some or something, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. Well, as always, I appreciate everybody watching. Hope you got something useful out of this, and we will see you in the next one.